Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, I am the Mighty Eskimo, aka Quinn, and I am joined here today with... Hi, I'm Wes. And this is what it is this is. And we're uh, still playing this glorious game called The Room, which is based off the movie. Um, what was it? Mike. Mike had just got pushed over by Mark. They had some sort of conflict while they were playing football. Man. Roughhoused a little bit. So, we'll, uh, we'll see how he's doing. He's apparently fine. Apparently. He, uh, has <coughs> nothing going on with him. He just got pushed in some trash cans and not, not, he's not dead gonna, in any way. He's not going to end up like Jimmy over there, that skeleton man. Mark, why don't you take him home? And Mike, listen. If you need anything, call me anytime. Alright? That's it. You. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. So, so the thing about this movie... Is it seems like a lot happens all at once, but then nothing happens in the midpoint of the movie. Yeah, that's very true. Let's go home, Denny. All right. Oh, you smell. Yep. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What? No. 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 All Bummer. right. Bummer. Not gonna comment on that dead body, I guess. It's just there. I wonder if Chris R killed him. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. We've played played football in the alley. I wonder when we go to the park to uh, play football with everybody in suits. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Thanks for walking me home, Johnny. See ya. You smell. You should take, take a shower. A shower. <laughs> I like the mission updates in this. They're so, uh, so Matter accurate. of fact, yeah. yeah. Just like, take a shower. Yeah, uh, you, this is in the middle of the day. This is like a middle of the daytime shower. You want to take a middle of the day shower? Well, I have, but Johnny hasn't. <laughs> he only takes them when he's woken up. You should check that answering machine when you uh, get out of the shower. All right. See if there's any answer, answer Any sort of secrets. Yeah. Because Lisa's acting suspicious. If you've watched the previous episodes, she has secrets. Yep. Something is going on. And, and women change their mind all the time, apparently. And uh, Mark, our good buddy Mark, seems to be involved somehow or have secrets of his own. It's true. If I had tape, I could listen to it here. Okay. All right, let's go business casual. Yeah, you're not going to work. It's still Saturday. Yeah, got nothing to do because it's Saturday. Oh, God. Claudette's back. I know, but Johnny is a part of our family. Mom, I don't love Johnny anymore. I don't even like him. Oh, oh, that's, oh this is the uh, scene where Johnny is hiding on the open spir spiral staircase. <laughs> just <laughs> eavesdropping in plain sight. Yeah, just it's like they don't notice him. I had sex with someone else. You can't be serious. <laughs> you don't understand. Who? Who was it? I don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it? Then why do you bring it up in the first place? Good question. <laughs> Good <laughs> fucking question. <laughs> to move the plot along. <laughs> don't you know? <laughs> you don't know. Oh, my bad. This, uh... Oh, man, this pacing in this game is getting rough. If you think I'm tired today, wait until you see me tomorrow after my chemotherapy from my <laughs> cancer I have. Coming to the party? Yeah, after the doctor appointment for my cancer visit. <laughs> <laughs> she's all, she's all, leaving. I mean, she has cancer. The it's... plot thickens. How can they say this about me, Johnny says. I don't believe it, Johnny exclaims. <laughs> I show them. I show them. <laughs> I rec will record everything. Oh, this this one he gets all sleuthy. Record everything. Uh... <laughs> all right, let's go to that tape recorder. Okay. All right, so let's go over here. Seems like all the all, all the important information has already been said. Yeah. So. I have a tape I could listen to. Where do I get the tape? Oh, is this one it actually gets like on the phone? Puzzly. There is no one to call. Oh my well, god. What gosh. about the drawers uh, next to the bed? I don't remember what he got it in the movie. This is gonna be a problem. Um. Ooh. Uh, mm. Maybe it's down here. I feel like he does something with this phone. No. Okay. Calls to make. Where does he get it from? Uh oh, we have reached an we, impasse. We, we hit a roadblock. Oh man, this is going to turn into an actual game. He's stuck. Come on, get out of the chair. <laughs> he loves that chair so much. So Quinn, where do you keep the tapes for your answering machine? 
Uh. Oh no, there's so many drawers. Wait. What is that? Uh, wait, that looks like a tape or something. Well, I keep mine like everybody else, keep, where everybody else keeps theirs, in, uh, under the sink, right? Yeah. Oh, I've got to figure out some way to pick stuff up. I don't... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I think once we find it, we'll find it. Yes. I don't think they'll... Okay, so it's not that. It's not in the trash. It's not the mouse. Um... I don't think it would... Fridge. Yeah, I don't think it would be in the kitchen. Maybe Denny has one. Maybe it's outside of this, outside of the uh, room. Possibly. Uh, go back upstairs. There was a box that, uh, on a shelf. No, oh, good. He didn't clip on the chair this time. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, oh, above his suit. Yeah, does he keep it in his closet? Oh, no, damn. that's not it. Uh, oh, look in the mirror. Just, just for funsies. <laughs> looking good, Johnny. <laughs> but not looking... Good enough. I need to wear a suit if I'm gonna look for an answering machine tape. Uh, uh we. C what a great metaphor. What? I don't know what that is. It's a piece of poop. It's a piece it looks like a doll or something between two candles. TV. Hi, TV. <laughs> do I leave the house? Like, do I go buy it somewhere? Maybe. Oh, this is gonna be. I don't think it's in here. Yeah, I, it it's... has to be somewhere else. I feel like in the movie, though, he rustled around and got it in his house. This is the most game part of this game. Yeah. Up until this, it's been kind of a representation with a couple of brief, like, football throwing. Yeah. Uh, let's try going up here. Yeah, let's... Well, I'm, uh, would the cops have a tape? They like to read... Oh, this Whoa. is where the bridge broke. D so... In the movie, correct me if I'm wrong, was there anything about a bridge collapsing? I don't remember a bridge collapsing. Or on Wiseau Street. <laughs> Electronics. Electronics, Okay, we you were right. You were right, Quinn. Yeah. Oh, it's the same lady. <laughs> Hi, doggy. <laughs> okay, sale, tape recorders on sale. Never know when I may need to record things. Thanks, Johnny. You're my favorite customer. All right, do we you got the tape. It, do you think it's just triplets with this that got the same dog from the same litter that owns three different just businesses? Just a triplet of humans with a triplet <coughs> of pugs. dogs. Yeah. <laughs> it could be. It could very well be. And they're all. And Johnny is all of their favorites. I would love to go back and watch the movie and see if the coffee shop woman is the same woman who was uh, in the flower shop. Like if they oh, reuse the even actress, because that, that would make sense. Yeah. They, do you think they they must have gone to an actual coffee shop? Yeah, there was definitely a coffee shop. Maybe they just like slid a twenty to the to the barista, and she's like, "Pretend that you're in a movie." Yes. <laughs> okay, we've got what we needed. Okay. We solved a puzzle. Yes. Most difficult thing besides the battle. Yeah. <laughs> that battle of drag. Okay. Drag much like I need to drag this tape recorder. Oh, oh I see no, what you did there. You okay. just got to Yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh, well, maybe it's the one downstairs. Yeah, you got... Yeah? You got to put it under the... Under the phone. Okay. Yeah. I'll record everything. Oh, it's Peter! Oh, Peter! The... I forgot about Peter. Oh, yeah, the, the shape-shifting Peter. Yes. So, the story with this actor... I don't have a lot of time, and I could probably write an essay on this guy. That's okay. Um, they introduced this character who... <coughs> decently well acted. Yeah, he didn't do bad. Um... They introduce this character who is a psychologist. He's about to give him a free session right here. Uh, and he's introduced as a character. Later on, they replace him in the cast with a different guy who looks nothing like him. Completely different. Doesn't like, even wear glasses. Right. Like, last scene in the movie, it's a completely different guy, but there, no one is doing anything to act like it's a different guy. Nope. Um, which completely caught me off guard the first time I saw the movie. I had no idea what was happening or who this guy was. But later, when I saw it the second time, I realized that they were referring to both of them as Peter. Uh -huh. When I researched it, they just, like, lost the actor and they replaced him with someone who looked nothing like him. Any any reason why they lost him? Were they getting, like, a fight or something? Uh, Conflict of interests? Well, his last line he says before he walks away, 
uh, I think was him saying in earnest, like, I've had enough of this. And it was just him quitting. <laughs> Maybe that's what happened. <laughs> nice. We'll see if they kept that in here. Lisa, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I overheard a conversation between Lisa and her mother. What should I do, Peter? This is Lisa we're talking about, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't know what to say. But you are a psychologist. Not a psychologist. You are a psychologist. <laughs> do you have some advice? It's, it's a complicated situation, Johnny. I mean, you're my friend, and I don't get between friend, you and Lisa. But look, if you want to, you should comfort her. I can't confront her. Confronts. I want to give her a second chance. After all, she's my future. You know what they say, love is blind. Well, you've got a lot of faith in Lisa. So Peter's kind of like the audience surrogate in a way. Yeah, like, kind of. He's kind of just Introduced observing... Introduced really late in the movie to be an audience surrogate, but... He kind of is observing everything else everybody's doing and reacting to it. But he doesn't really have much to say other than, wow, this is complicated. <laughs> Did you hear the door? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hi, Mark. <laughs> oh. I mean, Johnny's much more excited than that, but at this point, I've had enough of Mark. Hey, Peter. We're just talking about women. Women? Man, women just confuse me. <sighs> We're gonna do another one of these. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, before we get too hard into it, we'll uh, we'll call this episode. We got we got the record. We got everything recording right now. Yes. Now, like, not 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 as in like this episode being recording. Like Johnny has got everything recording. Yeah. He's going to going to record everything. So we'll find out what he recorded next time on What It Is This Is. See you next time for more misogynism? Yes. That sounds good. That's a good way to end it. More yeah. misogynism. More misogynism. <laughs> what we've become known for. Exactly.